struggling with the overwhelming task of water cycling for your axolotl? Our expert guide will simplify the process, giving you the confidence to provide your pet with the perfect environment. Stick around till the end of the video because we'll be revealing the one secret thing that will easily maintain optimal water quality in your axolotl's tank. So let's dive right in. Before we get into the nitty-gritty of water cycling, is it really that important to change the water regularly? What happens if you don't? Axolotls are highly sensitive to water quality, and poor water conditions can lead to stress and illness. In some cases even death. Did you know that axolotls' waste can be toxic to them if not properly managed? Ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate levels can build up in the water, causing serious harm to your axolotl. So yes, changing water regularly is one of the most important things you have to do for your axolotl. Before we start the actual water cycling process, there are a few things you need to have on hand. A water testing kit to monitor ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate levels. A siphon or gravel vacuum to remove waste and debris. A bucket or container to hold the old water. Dechlorinated water for refilling the tank. And a water conditioner to neutralize harmful chemicals. So where can you get dechlorinated water for your axolotl tank? Well, it's actually quite simple. You can use tap water, as long as you treat it with a water conditioner that removes harmful chemicals, such as chlorine and chloramine. These chemicals are added to tap water to make it safe for human consumption, but they can be harmful to aquatic animals like axolotls. You can find water conditioners at aquarium supply stores or online. Just make sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions when adding the water conditioner to the new water before refilling the tank. Now that we have everything we need, Let's get started with the water cycling process. So the first step is to test the water in your axolotl's tank. This is crucial because it gives you an idea of the current ammonia nitrite and nitrate levels. Who wants their little buddy swimming around in dirty water? Make sure to keep a log of these readings to monitor changes over time. Next, remove any visible waste and debris from the bottom of the tank. It's like cleaning your room, but for your axolotl. This will help maintain a clean environment and prevent the buildup of harmful substances. Plus it'll make your little guy or girl happy. Now it's time to remove some of the old water. Use a siphon or gravel vacuum to remove about 20 to 30% of the water from the tank. Be careful not to disturb your axolot while doing this. You don't want to cause them any unnecessary stress. Place the old water in a bucket or container, as you'll need it later for testing purposes. Refill the tank with fresh dechlorinated water. Make sure the water temperature is similar to the tank's current temperature to avoid shocking your axolotl. Slowly pour the water into the tank, being careful not to disturb the substrate or decorations. After refilling the tank, test the water again to ensure the ammonia nitrite and nitrate levels are within safe ranges. If necessary, make adjustments by adding more water conditioner or performing additional water changes. So how often should you repeat this process? As a general rule of thumb, it's recommended to perform a 20 to 30% water change every one to two weeks for your adult axolotls. Now the most important step, monitor your axolotl. Keep a close eye on them after the water change to ensure they're adjusting well to the new water conditions. Look for any signs of stress or discomfort, such as erratic swimming or loss of appetite. But that's not all. Here are some tips to help you maintain water quality between changes. First, feed your axolotl a balanced diet and avoid overfeeding. Uneaten food can contribute to poor water quality, which can lead to health problems for your axolotl. Second, clean the tank regularly. Remove any waste and debris as soon as you notice it. This will prevent the buildup of harmful substances and keep your axolotl's environment clean and healthy. And finally, the secret hack we promised to reveal at the beginning. To maintain optimal water quality in your axolotl's tank, establish a thriving biological filter. A biological filter is a natural way to break down harmful substances like ammonia and nitrite, converting them into less harmful nitrates. This process, known as the nitrogen cycle, is essential for maintaining a stable and healthy environment for your axolotl. Here are some simple steps you can take to get started. First, add some beneficial bacteria to your tank. You can do this by using a bacterial starter culture that will help colonize the filter media and break down harmful substances. Next, make sure you have enough surface area in your filter media for the bacteria to thrive. 
sponges and ceramic rings are great options. But remember, patience is key. It can take two to six weeks for the nitrogen cycle to fully establish, so be sure to monitor your water parameters closely during this time and perform water changes as needed. And one more thing, don't overclean your filter. While keeping your tank clean is important, overcleaning can disrupt the beneficial bacteria. Instead, gently rinse the media in old tank water to preserve the bacterial colonies. Check out our video on 10 amazing facts about axolotls that will leave you in awe of these fascinating creatures. Stay up to date with the latest axolotl tips and facts by subscribing to our channel. Your axolotl will thank you.